Navy duty is often rugged. Personnel may be exposed to the dangers of heavy weather, the numbing cold of an Arctic winter, or the hazards of combat. A key member of the medical team taking care of Navy and Marine personnel when they're ill and giving them first aid when they're injured is the Navy's hospital corpsman. Because illness or injury can strike anywhere, hospital corpsmen and core waves are assigned to sick bays on ships or shore station dispensaries and to naval hospitals. They also work with aviation units and the Marine Corps, giving medical aid wherever it is necessary, on station, in the field, or aboard ship. Usually, hospital corpsmen assist medical officers, but on smaller ships and isolated stations without a medical officer, they treat injuries and illnesses to the full extent that they are qualified. They apply splints, dressings, and bandages to fractures, burns, and wounds. They give artificial respiration and treat shock, hemorrhage, and unconsciousness. They give injections, fill prescriptions as prescribed by medical and dental officers, and analyze various specimens. They take blood pressure, record temperature, pulse, and respiration rates, arrange beds, serve patients meals, and do whatever else they can to provide ease and comfort. They collect and prepare data for medical reports and type official letters. Senior hospital corpsmen often work as instructors at hospital corpsmen's school. When assigned to duty with the Marine Corps, all personnel are required to attend a field medical service school. They are taught marine organization and operations, how to requisition supplies, set up and operate aid stations. They usually work under the supervision of medical officers. However, Individual performance is emphasized in preparation for independent duty on patrol in the field. This is the moment of truth. The speed and skill in the first treatment of a battle casualty can mean the difference between life and death. Frequently exposed to the same danger as the men they treat, the traditional citation, above and beyond the call of duty, personifies the hospital corpsman on duty with the Marines. There are no special physical requirements for the rating, and women are eligible. No security clearance is required, but there cannot be any history of illicit drug usage. The rating is open to all, including foreign nationals and immigrant aliens but all applicants must be medical dental volunteers. Everyone accepted for this rating must attend Hospital Corman School to learn basic anatomy and physiology, the structure and functions of the human body, how to perform minor surgery and give first aid, preventive medicine, the principles of nursing, and the techniques of patient care. They become familiar with the therapeutic uses, doses, and properties of drugs, as well as their potential dangers and necessary safeguards. Students selected for advanced training may qualify as medical technologists, x-ray technicians, clinical laboratory technicians, or one of the other types of medical specialists which are found in the civilian community or they may specialize in submarine medicine, aviation physiology, or medical photography. Nothing is more basic to the good life than good health. Much of the credit for keeping Navy and Marine personnel in peak condition goes to the dedicated and unselfish work 
of the hospital corpsman.